so today we will learn how to work with files and folders you see this is a folder icon a yellow color box here and these all are file icons so how can we create a file or folder so first of all this is the desktop as you can see it has many icons on it so to create a file a folder or a file we go anywhere in the blank area where no icons are present and we press the right button of our mouse once you press the right button you get a sub menu in this sub menu we have option called new click on new you'll get again one sub menu with the option folder as soon as i click on folder you see i get a yellow color picture on my screen with a new folder okay so by default if you don't save any name don't give any name the name will come up as new folder now suppose if i want to change the name of the folder it is for my some work so again how to change just take your cursor there press the right button of the mouse once you press right button you see again we get options open pin to quick access and all these options when we come down here we see the second last option is rename once you click on rename rename you see again new folder is highlighted here i can write any name suppose i write example it is one of the example that i am putting up okay now you can press enter button from the keyboard or you can click anywhere on the screen so now you have made a folder whose name is example okay now next comes how can i delete my folder and if suppose my folder is deleted how can i bring it back so first let's start with deleting suppose i have to delete this folder again what i will do again you take your cursor press the right button here you have option called delete once you delete it will ask you are you sure you want to move this folder to recycle bin yes so now my folder is gone it is no where here you cannot find now how to bring it back how can i get my folder back again i will open recycle bin i will open recycle bin here you see do you see your new folder in the recycle bin yes example you go there and press the left button of your mouse so always remember to select anything we press the left button of the mouse and we click on restore the selected item now come out so can we see our file folder yes here you see this is our folder example now next is how to transfer the data from one folder to another or how to copy paste or cut paste the folder and files so for cut paste and copy paste again the same process take the mouse do the right click here you see the option cut and copy okay for first time let us copy it now next how to now we have copied how to paste so for pasting let me show you one more place from where we can do all these things this is called this is the folder box here you can see a yellow color box on the taskbar this is the taskbar this opens up a file explorer window this file explorer window is used for doing all the operations that we can do with or uh, right click on the desktop you see here it has basically three parts here you have ribbon here it is navigation means you can go anywhere i can go to like it is c d e c video pictures music i can go anywhere from here and it is frequently used folders means where i am frequently or regularly which folders that we have been opening and these are the recent one last 10 or 20 files which we have opened is mentioned here okay from here i can go to anywhere suppose i go to local disk d okay so now local disk d is there i have just to remember we just now we copied a file so how to paste it do a right click again you see here's option called paste you can paste from here as well and here also at the top you see we see there is a option called paste so let's click on paste now file is pasted so what is here we have pasted a file suppose i want to take this uh pasted a folder now we suppose we have to take this file outside and i want to cut it again i will take the mouse do a right click 
Once you right click, again I get the option. I can click cut here or I can do cut from here. Let's do cut from this here. Now I cut the file. Now again I go to desktop from here. You see we can move to anywhere. Suppose I move to desktop. Now I paste my file. You see I got the file C2 over here. Like this. So this is how we cut, cop we cut paste and copy paste. What is the difference between cut paste and copy paste? Cut paste is you see we have copied a file called example. So the file is here also and in our local disk D also. But C2 we have cut. So let's check is it there in D? You see C2 is missing from here. That means when you copy a file one copy is in its original place another copy goes to the new place. But when we cut a file the file is removed from its original place it goes to the new location where you have copied it here you see C2 okay so this was all about moving the files or folders or moving the data from one place to another here uh, in our file explorer window we'll just quickly go through the tabs present in the ribbon first one is the file tab you see open new window open windows powershell so this is how it is there file now when you come to home pin to quick access means it will come up here copy as we all know when you click on any file you select any file by a life, left click you get the copy option paste cut so basically home tab is used for copying a file pasting creating new folder you see we can create new folder from here as well so here's a new folder I can do, give any name so it is basically home tab is used to copy a file paste cut move it to some place or copy the file should the shortcuts to copy the file to somewhere then you can delete a file also suppose I want to delete this file I'll click here and click on delete are you shown yes so the file is deleted you can rename from here also suppose I select a file click on rename so I can get give any file name here so you see my file name is also changed so new item so these are the things now when we come to share tab here you can send your file through emails you can zip your file means compress and make it small we can move it to a CD disk print fax these all things now view view means how you can see the see navigation pane if you want it's okay if you don't want it will disappear now extra large icons small icons tiles large icons list it will show you in a list see it is like a list content date modified type dimension all these things all details are available medium size icon now details date modified type size all details about each and every file we can see which what type of file is there when we last opened what is the size of file all these things are there now next is short by short by means you can arrange the files according to date modified ascending or right now it is ascending let's make it descending you see work came first and do gone down now add column size column so these all all activities that we can do with windows explorer or we can say file explorer in 2010 it is known as file explorer and earlier in 2007 it was named as windows explorer so that is all about the making files and folders this is how we can make files and folders and we can work on 